Women love football too, so why not work in it? It doesn't matter if you're a man or a woman. It matters if you know your stuff. And one of the great things about being a part of that process with this team is that's exactly how they evaluated me. It wasn't, oh man, there's a woman on the field, or whatever. It was, does she know her stuff? Other than that, we don't care, you know? Because at the end of the day, sports are a universal language. Is there something about the female brain that can't comprehend X's and O's with football? Callie uh, came in, again, energy and so forth, and her agenda was a little bit different. She liked to get into the coaching world and, and on the field. Uh, and I've been very, very impressed, uh, so impressed with her that I'd like to offer her a position with us this year. And uh, of course I said yes. So my dad graduated from University of Miami and uh, he was a big football fan. So every Saturday in the fall, we watched Miami Hurricanes football. It was a mixture of being able to spend time with him, bond with him with something, and then also I just loved the sport. I just, I loved every aspect about it. I loved how every single time I watched a game when I was younger, I learned something new. And then I tried to play in high school and was basically told no. Um, and yeah, it, it was not a culture where they were even willing to explore it. It takes the air out of your lungs, you know, it, it takes the wind out of your sails. It's, it's, it's not easy. I kind of just gave up on it and then um, you know, went to school, went to college and heard about the women's professional team, you know, eight seasons later, had a lot of fun and a great career and football came back into my life and it then opened this door of, well, okay, the age old question is what am I going to do when I grow up? Well, that pretty much solidified to me that I don't care what I do, it's got to be football related. Football is just like one of those untouched, masculine, dominated areas of society. And, you know, I know growing up, that's always the vibe that it felt like. And, and everybody's always felt like it's this documentation of masculinity and, and ruggedness and, you know, and, and toughness and so forth. And I think that so many people who believe in that have tried to preserve that it can only exclusively be with men. There's still a majority of female sports who are coached by men and Title IX passed, you know, a long time ago, and you still see that a majority of female teams are coached by men. But, you know, nobody seems to bat an eye at that, you know, a man coaching a female sport. There's just a lot of people who just don't really think it's a good idea. I think my favorite comment, my favorite comment was that I should grow my hair out so that I fit the part a little bit better. Yeah, but I mean, that's everywhere. And to me, that just means I have to work harder. You gotta make the, the haters work a little bit harder. They should have to comment on 20 posts next year, not just one, because we're trying to change a dialogue that has been one way for a very long time. So you have to be, you know, you have to expect people to not like that you're changing their norm. And people are mad about that. But you know what? Their norms suck. <laughs> and it's time for them to change. My dream has always been to work in football, always. My goal was never to be the first. My goal was just to live in a time where it was possible. That's all it's ever been. Coach Stevens and I both agree that this is now about making sure that next year women get hired on the sideline because of what we did here at Dartmouth, that I'm not the first, I'm the first of many. Many, many years from now, I'm gonna be an old woman, and on a Saturday or Sunday in fall, I'm gonna sit down on my couch, and I'm gonna turn the TV on, and I'm gonna watch primetime football, and there's gonna be a female head coach on TV. And that will be a beautiful thing. And it's coming, it's happening, and you know, it starts with stuff like this.